Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast review. Race Craze here. This is going to be a uh, NASCAR Classics review of Janet Guthrie's uh, 1977. Um, I believe it is a Chevy Laguna. No, it's a Chevelle. That's what it is. It's a Chevelle. Um, I was going to say, I, oh, I don't know if it's a Chevy Laguna. This looks like a Chevelle. Uh, anyway, yeah, the 1977 Chevelle. And this was, this is the original Danica Patrick, for those of you that don't know. Um, she, she's the real lady in NASCAR. Um, she had four top 10 finishes and 11 top 15 finishes in 19 starts in 1977. So, we'll start here with the box. Um, so the NASCAR Classics box, um, it's going to be, uh, let's slide some stuff around so i got plenty of space. So the NASCAR Classics box is actually a sleeve. See, like that. So the NASCAR Classics box is a basic box, and then they all have different sleeves depending on, um, you know, driver. So that's the Janet Guthrie box. There's a picture of it in action. And then it's got a little bit of the history. Um, and then we get over here, one of 700. Oh, 700. That's a low number four for these, I think, but. But yeah, a little rip there, that's a bummer, but anyway, that's our uh, our box. It also comes with this card, and then it's one-sided, so this was back during the time of the big cards. And that's just a card that has some stats and a couple of pictures. It's not, there's nothing super crazy on there, so. So, as we always do, let's roll into the die cast here. So the die cast um, of the 1977 Chevelle. So the wheels don't have quite the detail. Oh my, in and out of focus we go. There we go, right there. So, move that lamp a little. Yeah, it's a little better. So down the left side, uh, we got the white stars all the way from front to back. Um, there's not a lot of details on the wheels, I said. They're like painted, there's not a lot in there for that. Uh, white window net. Um, cab detail's okay. Um, as you go down the rest of the left side, we got Kelly Girl and the number 68 there. So we get onto the front. So this is the Chevy Chevelle front grille. Uh, the nice thing is you do get the chrome. The chrome's always kind of cool to have on some of these throwbacks, or not throwbacks, but these uh, older, older style cars from the 70s and 80s. Get under the hood, we get the chrome air intake, chrome headers, so you get some more of those kind of details there. See how far back that motor is. Um, not a ton of wires or hoses or anything, pretty basic there. So then we go over to the right side, same thing as the left side. No window on the right side, so we got a fire extinguisher down there, a shifter, some more of that, those cab details. Um, and I'm not sure how accurate the uh, cab detail is to the era as far as, um, you know, from the aspect of, you know, did the cab look like that or were there less safety details, more safety details, that kind of stuff. I, I feel like they got to be, you know, kind of close, but, you know, that's not a Lionel Ford tape by any means. And before, fuel cells had to be painted red. They had the white one there, right there in the back. So, you know, pretty normal there. But uh, yeah, so so it's, there's not a ton to these cars. Uh, the undercarriage is, is pretty good. Uh, this is DIN number 89, 89, um, because it was made after the DIN program had been started. So um, you know these these uh, these NASCAR classics. These are really pretty neat. Um, so you get obviously you get a little bit of the history of the car, but then also you have these different style cars. So there's this one. Um, there's a Dale Earnhardt and Monte Carlo. I've got um, Illumina, both from 1989. A Daryl Waltrip Pepsi car. Um, that might be it. But, you know, it's you get uh, a nice variety of cars. So, um, and the shapes of them and whatnot. So, uh, I'll be going through a lot of these, uh, these throwback type cars. Or not throwback, but a lot of these classic cars. So, uh, we're going to get to see a ton of these from all the way from 2001 or 2003 to, you know, 2012 so um you know it's it's definitely like for me it's not a, a huge addition to my collection it's it's nice um again this was part of that collection so this one will probably be going up on ebay here um in the near future i might i might keep it i don't know i'll see 
Um, there are two of them, so for one, for sure, one of them is getting sold. But um, you know, the biggest thing is uh, you've got you've got this, you know, the throwback type cars that are from an era that I was not alive in, so I never got to watch these these cars race. And so, uh, with never getting to see these race, it's not as big a deal to the to me as a collector, because I mean, I don't I don't remember this car. I was only, I was born in nineteen ninety five. You know, I wasn't born in 1977, so, um, so yeah, I'm on the younger side for, for some of this type of stuff, but, um, still a very, a very nice, you know, addition, um, you know, it'd be kind of cool if I could ever get one signed, that'd be really kind of a, a neat piece, just for the historical part, but I, like I said, I, um, you know, I never saw it race or anything, so not a huge attachment to it, so, anyway, uh, this has been the Janet Guthrie Review. Um, if you've liked the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Make sure to get subscribed. Diecast giveaway on July 7th. So um, all subscribers are eligible for that. And, um, you know, make sure you leave a like and watch some of the other videos. I've, I've got a lot of them. I think I actually hit my 100th video recently. So at some point I might have to do a collection uh, video. The problem is I actually don't have enough shelves for all the cars I have. I've got a whole, I think I've got 40 in a box. Um, I've got another fifth, ten or so, and another, I mean, I've got, you know, a solid chunk of my collection sitting in a box right now because I, I don't have enough shelf space. So, you know, that's, that. I, I'll think about it, um, and maybe if I can get them laid out sometime, I'll, I'll keep the ones on the shelf, and then I'll just lay those out on a desk or something so I can see them, but then they'll go right back in the box. But, um, you know, that's my only downside to trying to do a collection video is that I got so many of them that are not, um, not out of their boxes at the moment because of uh, things like that. So anyway, uh, this has been Race Craze, and we will see you in the next video.